real tomatoes and simple ingredients. Tomatoes first in your life. Ketchup, the beloved red sauce found in almost every home, has a simple yet fascinating journey from factory to table. It all starts with ripe tomatoes, carefully chosen for their freshness. These tomatoes go through a thorough cleaning process before being crushed to make pulp, the heart of ketchup. The magic blend of sugar, vinegar, salt and secret spices is added to the tomato pulp. This mixture is then cooked in big stainless steel pots, ensuring the right temperature for preservation. After cooking, the ketchup is cooled and fine-tuned for that perfect texture we love. In massive factories, machines play a crucial role. They measure ingredients precisely, monitor cooking temperatures, and even fill the iconic bottles accurately. Quality checks happen at every step to maintain the unique taste and safety. The result? The familiar red bottle on our tables, ready to be squeezed on burgers, drizzled on fries, or used as a dip. The simplicity of ketchup's journey from factory to our plates mirrors its place as a staple condiment, bringing flavor to meals in households worldwide. At the ketchup factory, the arrival of gigantic crates, each weighing a whopping 1.2 tons, equivalent to more than two grizzly bears, is a spectacle in itself. These crates house bags filled with tomato paste, a crucial ingredient in the ketchup making process. Skillfully maneuvered by forklifts, the crates make their way into the heart of the operation. Once the tomato paste bags are freed from their colossal containers, they find their way into the paste dumper machine, a fittingly named apparatus. This mechanical marvel, equipped with substantial rollers, meticulously extracts every ounce of paste from the bags. Waste is not an option, as even the remnants on the rollers are diligently rinsed off with water, ensuring nothing is left behind. The extracted paste then embarks on its transformation journey. Blended with water, its consistency is perfected, creating the smooth, vibrant base essential for ketchup. This amalgamated mixture is then transported into expansive storage vats, patiently awaiting its turn to contribute to the creation of the iconic condiment. In this meticulous dance of machines and ingredients, Every step is a testament to the precision and efficiency involved in bringing that familiar bottle of ketchup to our tables. So how is ketchup produced? In a kitchen, of course. The area where ketchup is mixed and cooked is known as the ketchup kitchen. The first step is adding all the other ingredients to the diluted tomato paste. Each ingredient is measured entirely by hand before being tipped into the mixer containing the paste. In the world of ketchup production, a key player in creating that perfect texture is homogenization. Imagine it like a superhero, making everything in the ketchup consistent and smooth. This superhero ensures that all the tiny bits inside the ketchup are the same size, making it thick and delightful. This magic happens with the help of a high-pressure machine or special ingredients like xanthan gum, starch or other thickening agents. Picture this. The ketchup, a mix of flavors and goodness, goes through a process to become even more amazing. The homogenization process transforms it into a creamy, dreamy consistency that we all know and love. It's like giving the ketchup a makeover, making sure every spoonful is as fantastic as the last. But that's not all the ketchup goes through in its journey to your table. There's pasteurization, a bit like giving it a protective shield. This process helps the ketchup stay fresh for a longer time on the shelf. It's like a superhero power that extends the life of our favorite condiment ensuring it's always ready to add a burst of flavor to our meals. And then comes aeration, a fancy word for removing oxygen. Think of it as giving the ketchup some breathing space, taking out anything that might make it less amazing. By doing this, the ketchup stays vibrant and full of flavor, ready to impress our taste buds. So, in the ketchup production world, it's not just about mixing ingredients. It's about perfecting the texture, extending its life, and keeping it fresh. Ensuring the quality of tomato ketchup is like being a detective, and one crucial clue is its texture. How smoothly it flows, or its viscosity, tells a lot about its goodness. Heinz, a ketchup giant, has a simple yet effective way to check this. It's called the quantifier, a kind of ketchup detective tool. Imagine a tabletop metal ramp with lines marked inside. That's the quantifier. Before a batch of ketchup gets the thumbs up, 
a bit of it is placed at the top of this ramp and set free. The challenge is to see how far it travels in just 10 seconds. It's like a mini race, but the ketchup isn't competing, it's proving its quality. Here's the catch. For Heinz ketchup to pass this test, it must not zoom down the ramp faster than 0.028 miles per hour. That's the magic number. If it goes any faster, that batch is a no-go and you won't find it on the shelves. It's Heinz's way of ensuring that every bottle you buy has the perfect texture. Not too fast, not too slow. Just the right flow for that classic, satisfying pour. This quantifier isn't a high-tech gadget with buttons and screens. It's a simple but powerful tool. It might seem like a small test, but for Heinz, it's a big deal. Now that our journey through the ketchup-making process has unfolded, the final act is the bottling stage. Imagine a ballet of bottles, a choreographed routine performed by a filling machine. This machine automatically handles the entire process, ensuring the ketchup reaches your table seamlessly. Picture a line of empty bottles, patiently waiting to be filled. They move along a conveyor, passing under filling hats that do the magical squirting of ketchup into each bottle. The amount in every bottle is precisely measured by weight, ensuring consistency in every squeeze. But the show doesn't end there. Self-adhesive labels, like little costumes for the bottles, are swiftly stuck on by machines. It's the finishing touch, making each bottle recognizable in the sea of red on the shelf. Now our bottled stars are ready for their grand finale. A robot, the backstage manager of this condiment production, carefully places the bottles into boxes. These boxes are then bundled up on a pallet like a group photo of the ketchup family. A final touch of shrink wrap ensures they're secure and ready for their journey. And just like that, our ketchup bottles are ready to go out into the world. They've danced through the filling process, adorned their labels and been neatly packed for their big debut on kitchen tables worldwide. Reflecting on the unexpected global history of ketchup and understanding, the intricacies of its production from home kitchens to massive factories adds a new layer of appreciation for that familiar red bottle. It's not just a condiment. It's a result of a carefully orchestrated process, a dance of ingredients, machines and human ingenuity. The next time you reach for that iconic bottle, remember the journey it's been on, from history's pages to your plate, bringing joy in every squeeze. And now, armed with the knowledge of how ketchup is made, the red bottle takes on a whole new significance, doesn't it? And there you have it, the captivating journey of ketchup production from history to factory. If you enjoyed unraveling the secrets of this iconic condiment, be sure to hit subscribe and like for more behind-the-scenes insights.